That's right, Eric. And you know, if you don't have a fever, you're starting to feel better. You want to know if you can leave the house. All great questions and you may not have those answers yourself. So we got them for you. We talked to a Houston Methodist doctor. The symptoms of COVID-19 can vary from person to person, from a fever, a cough to difficulty breathing. But once you're on the other side and feeling better, how do you know you're no longer contagious? When someone is still in the hospital and we're asking the question of whether or not they've recovered, it's easier. We retest them and you have to have two tests, a minimum of 24 hours apart before you can say that someone's no longer infected. If you're not in the hospital, the answer is more difficult. Doctors say in that case, there's no standard retest. The CDC has left some guidance for this, which is to say that if you are seven days out from the beginning of your symptoms and 72 hours out from any symptoms at all, you are considered no longer actively infected. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not contagious at all. Wearing a mask for a week once your symptoms are gone could also help. The other issue, we don't know how long people shed the virus, which means hand washing is crucial. We find that there's still shedding of the virus in the poop um, and that you've got to wash your hands copiously and you have to be really careful with things that we don't usually think about, like the flush handle and the door handles and doorknobs. Unfortunately, again, we are seeing a number of recoveries, more than 350 in our area, but sadly we are seeing more cases. We'll break down those numbers for you coming up tonight at six. Reporting live, Marla Carter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.